All right, so in my last video about the X2S1, I went over its features and what it can do, but there were a couple things I kind of glossed over, which I end up getting some questions about. One being the twin point positioning system, which X2 claims to be more precise than using a camera. And the other is curved engraving. So yeah, I'm making this short video today to show you guys how both of those features work. Um, for the twin point positioning system, we're gonna be engraving on this piece of basswood and I already laid out a rectangle on the inside of this workpiece for our actual engraving engraving area. And let's just put this guy onto the bed of our laser and we're just gonna hold it down with these little clamps right here. Um, all right, now let's head over to the x tool Creative Space. And as you can see, my machine's already connected to the computer. So the first thing we're gonna do is click on this little crosshair button right here, which lets the machine take a Z distance measurement using the probe on the side of the laser module to determine the thickness of the material and set the focus for the laser. All right, so once that's done, we're gonna click on the Start Marking button. And for this example, we're gonna select Rectangle for our processing area and click on Start Marking. So now the software is asking us to take two reference points, one at the top left corner and one at the bottom right corner of our processing area. So to do this, let's go ahead and grab the laser module and we're gonna move it until the crosshair lines up with this top left corner here. And it's really nice that this is a crosshair instead of just a dot because it allows us to make sure our workpiece is squared up with a laser. Um, okay, so once that's done, let's press this power button on the front of the machine to confirm our position in the software. Now let's grab this laser again and we're gonna move it to the bottom right corner and then click the button to confirm it. All right, so now let's click on end marking and done. And now we have this rectangle indicating our actual processing area. So all we need to do now is import the image that we want to engrave and get it positioned within that processing area. And then set our engraving parameters. So for this 40 watt laser here, I'm gonna set the power to 30% and the speed to 50 millimeters per second. And click on process, let's close this lid and let the machine do its thing. All right, if you compare that to our actual engraving, these two look exactly the same. Like I said, I haven't used the camera positioning system before, but if you look at this, it is really precise. All right, now to show you guys how all of this work with curved engraving, um, since I don't have any bowls or anything like that, I carved something out on the CNC, just like I did in the first review video that I did. Um, so the first thing we need to do inside the Exo Creative Space is come up here and change this laser flat to curve process, and then click on the curve measure button. And unlike before, we're gonna go straight into defining the top left and bottom right corners of our processing area instead of focusing the laser. So let's grab the laser and we're gonna line that up with the top left corner. And instead of clicking on the power button this time, we're gonna click on the mark button inside the software. And then we're just gonna let the machine do its thing. And once that's done, we're gonna repeat that for the bottom right corner. And click on Mark next to Vertex 2. So once it's done, let's click Next. And this is where we can define the resolution of our measurement grid. Um, I usually just go with default values, it usually comes out fine. So I'll click on Start Measuring. And now the machine will start taking Z distance measurements across our workpiece at all those points that we just defined previously. So basically the more dots defined earlier, the more precise the estimated shape will be within our software. And once that's done, we're gonna get this estimated shape of our workpiece inside the program. And we can further tweak the shape by changing the smoothness and the tension here. But um, as usual, I think the default value works fine. So all that's really left to do is go ahead and drag our design into this processing area. And let's uh, resize this guy. All right, now let's go ahead and adjust the engraving parameters. Um, just so you know, with the curved engraving function, we are limited to a maximum speed of 30 millimeters per second. So be sure to adjust the power to accommodate for that. Um, I think 20% would be pretty good for this. 
And let's go ahead and process that. Let's close the lid and let it do its thing. So once it started engraving, you can see how that laser module is moving up and down along the Z-axis. It's following the contour of our workpiece to help it maintain the laser focus, which is really cool to watch. Um, and like I said in my last video, I think this is something that currently only the X-Tool P2 and the S1 can do. So if you're looking to engrave on curved workpieces, these are the two machines that you want to keep an eye out for. All right, guys, take a look at how good this came out. Just like the flat piece that we engraved earlier, really good quality, really precise. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I was able to answer some of your questions regarding the twin point positioning system and the curved engraving. And uh, I guess I will see you guys in the next video.